and welcome guys to Let's Play Faster Than Light. I am your partner, basically Jim. We're doing a run through with the Kestrel. Tuned in last episode, our ship was ablaze, but we've quelled that situation. We've got our auction back running. And we're jumping straight back into the game. Okay, as you jump in, a vast figure appears in the view screen. The rock captain rubs the green moss like appendage on his chin and also screws up and fire. Okay. So he's stroking his beard thinking, what am I gonna do with these meddling kids? And lo and behold, this is what he does. Oh no. That's not good. You go fix. Should be alright. Whew, that was close. Just gonna heal him up a bit. Ship explodes, we get stuff, everyone's happy. So, <clears throat> I'm not sure if you guys played the game before, uh, if you haven't then well, well done for finding this because why would you look it up unless, uh, unless you knew what it was, right? And um, one thing that I'm kind of happy about is uh, you don't control the ship, I mean, yeah, okay, sure, you choose where you go and jump, but... It's not like a flying simulation that you are actually controlling a spaceship. <clears throat> it's very much turn-based style combat. Well, not turn-based style, but you know what I mean. Okay, so we've got some pirates, and we're going to do exactly what we always do. Take out our shields, take out our guns. And uh, watch them suffer. Okay. That off, that on. Increase our evasion. If they're exactly the same. Taking out that oxygen might cause them to move away from their shields. Alas, it hasn't. There we go. Got some goodies. We're going to use one of our hull repair drones. Look at that little guy. Topping up our hull. Yeah, it doesn't do a lot, but it does enough. Okay, let's move on. Oh, solar flare. Oof, as soon as you arrive, you hear the telltale sounds of a teleport and shouts reverberating through the ship. Prepare to burn fleshy meat sack aliens. Okay, Rockmen, they are immune to fire, but no one is immune to lack of oxygen. So all we're going to do is cower in fear in our med bay. And just open the ship up. They'll panic, start to get through the doors. We'll stop them at every turn. That fire there is going to go out very shortly. There we go. 
and that's how you do a rock man. The reason why I let them in right at the end um, was just so our crewmates could gain some combat experience. Open the doors up, let's get some air in here, get the oxygen flowing quicker, I'll pump up. Close the doors because fire is imminent. Hopefully we'll make it out. Oh, not quite. Get that fire under control. Ugh. Yeah, let's go and repair that. I'm gonna go shopping. Okay. Let's see. Fifty. It's madness. Um. Hmm. Crew teleporter isn't bad, but I need more crew for it to be effective. Okay, we're going to upgrade our reactor. Now we've got full system of power, which is brilliant. If we have a look on the map. Distress. Yeah hop down here, see what's what. Appears this just beacon is coming from the surface of a nearby moon. Sensors pick up a single life form. Let's have a look. Find a man living alone in a cave. From the appearance of his wrecked ship, it seems that he has been there for many years. He looks healthy, but his mental state is questionable. Uh, let's bring him back to his ship. He seems to improve immensely upon getting back to his ship. Might take off him to truly be well again, but until then, he seems happy to serve as a member of your crew. Charlie, the crazy rock guy, brilliant. Look at him, bash, 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 bash. Very happy that we got a rock man. Crazy Charlie, welcome, welcome aboard. Okay, pressing on. <laughs> crazy Charlie, brilliant. <laughs> A money collection of rock ships are stationed around this beacon. They look to have resorted to a pirate's life. Defensive maneuvers. Small bomb, take out the shields. Take out their oxygen, and that should be all. And let me just wait. Hang on a minute. You. Yeah, you should be on weapons. You can go on shields. There we go. Yay, we've got a drone part. Because we've got a drone part, we're going to do one of these. Very, very useful. Ooh, I think we might have taken a little bit too long. The ship you're escorting thanks you. I don't think we could have made it through without your help. Let my friends patch up some of your hull. Ugh, just used the drone. Ooh, this is interesting. 